DJ AFK here, back with another tutorial for Eve. Uh, today we will be doing the Serpentis Vigil, and we will do so in my favorite ship, the Estero. Uh, since this is against the Serpentis, we'll be using Hornets, which cause kinetic damage. Uh, the Estero only has uh, 25 megabits of drone bandwidth, so we can only use light drones. But we should be able to take these out pretty quickly. It looks like, uh, for the most part, it is frigates and battlecruisers. Uh, a couple destroyers. I don't see anything very large. Uh, there, there are some tower sentries. Uh, those could take a minute to go down, but we will see how it goes. This is two pockets, and the first room has uh, initial defenders and two more spawns, uh, three more spawns. Then the second room has the initial defenders and tower sentries, and then one more spawn that may or may not contain a named rat that could drop Shadow Serpentis modules. Or the ship fit. We do have drone damage amplifiers, a armor repairer, and a multi-spectrum membrane. We have drone navigation computer uh, to make these light drones really zippy. We have a cap recharger to keep us cap stable, and uh, it never hurts to have a warp scrambler on you. An afterburner, which we will be running the whole time. Without further ado, Let's get started. As we land on grid, it does look like there is a good number of ships near us. Let's go ahead and target them and send some drones out. We will destroy each type of ship to give the with the um, smallest to, to largest. As we land on grid in the second pocket, it looks like uh, not too much here. Uh, we will go ahead and take down the battle cruisers first as the tower sentries uh, trigger the commander wave. We do want to get some of the incoming DPS down a bit.
Well, we have made it back to station. Uh, there wasn't much trouble in this uh, vigil at all. Uh, in the first pocket, we had all of the smaller ships were targeting us with uh, uh, dampeners, and that was making it incredibly difficult to target them to say which ships to shoot. Uh, we did have to make a really tight orbit to accomplish that, which increased the incoming DPS, but uh, not enough that the armor repair couldn't take care of it. Let's go ahead and look over the ship fit, and we we did get the escalation, so we can do an escalation video for booster R&D as well. But the important pieces of the ship were the drone damage amplifiers, the armor repair with uh, a little bit of energized membrane here, and the afterburner that we had turned on the entire time, as well as the cap recharger to make sure that we are cap stable. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please come back and watch the uh, escalation video as well. Uh, leave comments below, and uh, always remember to fly safe.